In this presentation, the fixation of a Bennett fracture of the base of the first metacarpal will be demonstrated using 2.0 mm lag screws. The Bennett fragment has to be sufficiently large so that at least two 2.0 mm lag screws can be inserted without fracturing this fragment. Upon completion of this exercise, you should be able to describe the surgical approach to the Bennett fracture, perform the fixation of the Bennett fracture using lag screws, and outline the post-operative regime. This approach is indicated for Bennett fractures of the first metacarpal. Bennett's injury is a fracture subluxation of the first carpometacarpal joint of the thumb. The causative mechanism is axial overload along the first metacarpal with simultaneous flexion. The palmar oblique ligament holds the palmar marginal fragment in its anatomical position. The distal part of the thumb metacarpal is adducted and supinated by the adductor pollicis. As a whole, the metacarpal is also displaced proximally by the abductor pollicis longus muscle. The goals of treatment are to reposition the thumb metacarpal in the carpometacarpal joint and to restore the articular surface. Lag screw fixation is only possible if the ulnar volar fragment, the so-called Bennett fragment, is sufficiently large to allow the insertion of two screws without causing further fracture. The patient is positioned supine on the operating table with the arm placed in supination on an arm table at the level of the shoulder joint. The use of a tourniquet is strongly recommended. A fluoroscope is positioned opposite the surgeon to allow intraoperative radiological examination. The approach is marked on the model. The longitudinal incision is performed as planned. Blunt hooks are used to spread the soft tissue mantle apart. After repositioning the hook, the base of the first metacarpal bone becomes visible. The thenar musculature is dissected away palmally. The periosteum is split with the scalpel and detached from the base of the first metacarpal, revealing the fracture zone. The thumb is supinated, which opens up and allows visualization of the fracture and the Bennett fragment. The required instruments are the reduction forceps, the sharp hook, the 2.0 1.5mm double drill sleeve, the 2.0mm and 1.5mm drill bits, the depth gauge, and the 2.0mm star drive screwdriver shaft with handle. In this exercise, the Bennett fracture is stabilized with two lag screws that are inserted using the so-called inside-out drilling technique. This means that the gliding holes are drilled from the fracture surface of the shaft fragment to the dorsal side of the first metacarpal base. Following anatomic reduction of the shaft fragment onto the Bennett fragment, the thread hole in the Bennett fragment is drilled using a standard technique. Care is taken to ensure that the direction and distance between the two gliding holes are such that the screw tips will have enough separation in the Bennett fragment. The first gliding hole is now drilled with a 2mm drill bit beginning at the fracture surface and aiming in the dorsoradial direction at a 90 degree angle to the fracture surface. The second gliding hole is drilled distal to the first one in the same manner. The fracture is reduced by pulling on the thumb and rotating the first metacarpal in pronation onto the Bennett fragment. The Bennett fragment is then stabilized with a small pointed reduction forceps. 
the reduced articular surface is again checked for smoothness. Pronation of the first metacarpal bone will expose the superficial branch of the radial nerve and then the dorsal exit points of both gliding holes. The 1.5 mm drill guide is inserted into the first gliding hole. The 1.5 mm thread hole is drilled along the same axis into the Bennett's fragment. The depth is measured. A self-tapping 2.0 mm screw is inserted as a lag screw. However, the screw is not completely tightened at this stage. The second lag screw is inserted in the second gliding hole. Because of the cancellous bone structure here, countersinking is not necessary. The depth is measured. And the screw is inserted. Good compression to the fracture can be applied by tightening both screws alternately. The reduction forceps is removed. By turning the first metacarpal bone back into place, the tips of both screws become visible. They protrude from the far cortex by one to two turns of the thread. The reduced articular surface is smooth. Immediately post-operatively, a temporary plaster splint is applied, which immobilizes not only the first carpometacarpal joint, but also the first metacarpophalangeal joint and the wrist joint. After the pain and swelling have reduced, a custom thermoplastic splint is applied for four weeks. In compliant patients with stable fixation, the splint can be removed under the supervision of a physical therapist and early active motion exercises started after a few days. You should now be able to describe the surgical approach to the Bennett fracture, Perform the fixation of the Bennett fracture using lag screws and outline the post-operative regime.